During this recording, we are going to cover how to manage your open notification tasks. Uh, these are tasks that would have been sent uh, to you from uh, because of a defect or some issue, and they would have been sent into your Outlook, and you would have had a line in your Outlook you, and double-clicked on it. You would have then been able to go into the notification, which then you put in the notification process, letting the coordinator know you're picking it up. It's a little icon that you press, and that's uh, in the other instruction document to pick it up out of the Outlook. And, but once you pick it up and maybe enter a general comment at that time, uh, most cases there's some investigation that has to go on. And so this is how to manage those open tasks once you've picked them up and so you might need to go in and out of the task several times to record information during your investigation or make attachments and so this is how we do that. Uh, you want to run QM12 quality notification work list task change so change task is what it is and here it is in my favorites pretty high up it might be somewhere else down in you know your favorite list but just look for qm12 double click once inside the screen there are several fields but there is uh, a presetting that we select and so it fills the fields we need to, to run the task list and so up here at the uh, near the top on the left there is a icon a get variant icon second one in click on that and once inside there, there is two um, presetting variants. They're called uh, settings behind that are applied to each of these two names. One is BP01 underscore task for BP01 plant, and then BP02 underscore task for BP02 plant. So depending on what plant you're running for, click on your uh, variant there. So I'm going to double click on the first one because my example is in the BP01 plant. And then when I click on that, some of the screens got cleared, or some of the fields got cleared out, and outstanding and in process task uh, was left. And so we're looking at just open task. If ever you need to go look at completed, then you would hit the complete manually, uh, hit that complete tab. But initially, with that pre settings, we only want to look at the open. And then the other key field we want to fill in is this uh, person responsible field. We want it, uh, I need to fill in my user ID and then the next field that came in from the pre settings so you don't have to worry about but that it's a key field that came in from the initial settings is outstanding tasks only. So only tasks that are still open show up on this list uh, with combination of these field settings. So um, again the only one you have to enter is your user ID. That's the only one. So then hit execute here, the execute icon on the top left here. And now these are the open tasks for me. Uh, they have been assigned to my user ID. There's could, could be many more tasks out there to other user IDs, but I'm only concerned with the ones that I'm responsible for. And so now the key items here, this is just some of the general fields that are on the screen here. When we go in, there'll be more but these are some of the key fields here. We have the notification number, which is the um, a number assigned to the issues, the issue, like like almost a case number, and then the planned start date that the coordinator is recommending to start the task, and then the planned finish date when they're recommending to finish this task. And then you can see here the light is red because it's past due. It's uh, the current date is 7:31 and here is 729 so it's past due and then we have a general text that they might have entered in and you'll see when we go in they also can enter extended text to explain what they need to investigate and then they selected a general code kind of a category of what type of investigation or what needs to be done and then we have these statuses that over time you'll see that you'll know what they mean but the first one here means outstanding this OS at the end and the TS is for task and the second one is RL means release. Now in most cases your tasks when you first pick them up should be released because the release step was done in during the Outlook, except, uh, re, re, the Outlook workflow step. 
but um, I'll select that first line since it's past due I should be working on this and then highlight the first line or highlight the line you need to go into and manage and then hit task the task icon and you'll see I've got some additional information that the coordinator sent to me um, more detail and then be, along with that there's more detail by hitting the notification tab here it shows a little more description and then the material revision of the material who is the author of the notification well, here's the first defect if I had multiple defects it'd say item one and then um, after the problem and the task information it'd say item two and that and it, once again more information so uh, the kind of overall information is here on the uh, this tab and then there's uh, specific task information down here the basic data, uh, data tab is me the user that general information the planning start and end date if you need to remember what the start and end date was while you're in here and again a, a little bit more detail or different look of the defect that might have occurred and if I would have had multiple this would have had a little arrow over here let me go to the next one back and forth now, um, as I mentioned, when we first get in here, one of the things you're going to want to always look for is this green. See this uh, icon up here? This should have already been clicked. In this case, it wasn't, but in all cases, you want to make sure by now you've clicked this. So I'm going to click it. When you first picked it up in your Outlook, though, you should have clicked it uh, to let the coordinator know you picked it up. But we still want to do that at this point. Do not hit the checkered flag here until you're all all done that tells the coordinator you are completely done with the investigation now anytime you're in uh, back in and out you can come in here as many times you want in and out explaining or uh, uh, entering the detail about the investigation you're going to want to hit enter in here and then put the date for the next time you came in and so if I came in 8-1 11 and now you're going to always want to enter your initials and more information in, in this case but it'd be real data that real information that you would be entering now if you happen to need more room than this fast entry screen here that's what this smaller screen here is kind of like a fast entry screen if you need more to explain you hit this extended text tab over here on the right and now I can go down as far as I need to just more more info and just info line one, more info line two. And so on. Um, and just keep right on going. This screen just scrolls down and if you fill the screen up, you just keep right on going. So this is where if you need more text, more more information. Now, um, if you need to enter any attachments, you go up here and the, near the top there's this icon here and this little piece of paper here uh, service object is the description when you put your cursor over the top of it but see this little piece of paper hit that and once I press that I get uh, quality notification and this task info task line if I had multiple tasks you'd see multiple lines here um, and so I um, either you can attach uh, Word documents, Excel, scan documents, PDFs you can attach either to the overall notification so others can see as well by clicking on the notification or if you want to something that's very specific just the task uh, you'd hit the task line. In this case I'm going to hit quality notification and then it brings you to this screen here and we want to go create, create attachment and you can then go to your common drive or your C drive um, or whatever drive you need to go. In this case, I'm going to my C, to a directory, and I'm going to attach a Word document. Just by double clicking on it, it just brought it in and attached it to my notification. If later I need to get back in the C, I would hit that same icon, click on the quality notification line, and then it brings this screen instead of doing create attachment I'm now going to look at attachment list 
it brings up my attachment if I double click on it I now can see the attachment so now I'm going to click out click uh, hit the red X out of this screen so I now get back to the main screen here now once you're all done and, and completely done with the task that you've been working on I may have several lines or it may go a couple pages if it's a real lengthy investigation but when it's all done you're going to want to hit this checkered flag here which is the complete task flag so hit that you would press that when you're you're all done ensure you're completely done at that point because once you press this flag you won't be able to maintain the task anymore the coordinator if you had to open it back up or find out you have more work they would send you another task uh, so hit uh, you would hit the complete when you're done you can see everything gets grayed out the status goes to t TSCO which means complete if ever you need to see what status your task is at and you want to know the description of these hit this little eye here this little eye icon and this shows you task complete see it explains what it is and then green arrow back now I'm going to save which would be the whole completion process of the uh, whole life cycle of the task maintenance but if you were you may come in several times before hitting the complete checkered flag and saving each time and just this text just getting you know the information and all the detail you need um, would just keep keep growing until you're finally ready to complete as I'm doing now so I'm hit save and now you can see that the task uh, complete is on the screen here now instead of release like the next one if I hit the refresh which is this button here it's now gone because I'm only looking at task complete and now I back arrow out and I'm out one more time and I'm out of the program and that is how to maintain open notification tasks